Welcome to my Halloween Decorate With Me kitchen slash coffee bar edition. So I do have lots of goodies that I will be using for this video. Here's just a little overview and I also have some Halloween towels that I am thinking of which one to use here, which one will go upstairs. We'll see. If you're new, welcome. If you love seasonal decor videos, shop with me, hauls, decorate with me videos, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so I did keep just some of the stuff that I had out for fall. I didn't take off everything because I will be doing my Thanksgiving Decorate With Me video. And since it's still fall, you know, some things are still appropriate, especially here in the kitchen. I do have this candy corn garland that I believe I got at Dollar General last year, if I'm not mistaken. So I do want to hang a little garland here by my cabinets, which I don't always do, you know, for every holiday or season. You know, I wish stores would make some holiday inspired, you know, recipe signs. You know, that would be a cute thing for the kitchen, but stores don't really do that. Okay, here in my utensil holder, I will be putting a spatula that I got recently at Walmart. It was just 50 cents. It's this one here. I had a Halloween spoon rest on my wish list, but I didn't find one I really like this year, so I will be looking out for that next year. I do have this mason jar sign with the ghost, Happy Halloween. That one is from Bed Bath & Beyond. Bubble Bubble, this is Ray done. I just thought the pop of purple was needed in my decor collection for Halloween. I don't have, you know, too much of that. So that will be going here. It's nice and short so it doesn't cover that pumpkin pie recipe sign either. I'm adding a little pumpkin. And I did want to add this spider that has a little bit of spider web on it. So that's just going to be here. It looks like it's climbing. Okay. I'm giving my tear tray a wipe down with my Mrs. Meyer apple cider scented spray. I'll speed up the scene really quickly. I do have this sign that was a gift from a subscriber. Thank you so much. I also have this pumpkin that I will be using as a filler here in the back. So something that I also want more of is Halloween kitchen decor. Again, stores don't really do that. So it's something I hunt for year after year. This ramekin is perfect. I got it from Dollar General this year. I do have a pumpkin that I'm going to be adding on the top. Since I do have enough pumpkins already at the bottom, I have my little marshmallow that's also a gift from a subscriber. I put my little acorn that I had for my fall tray in there just because I'm going to use it again for Thanksgiving. I have my little wheat picks. I have another marshmallow. I have this purple succulent that I believe I got at Dollar Tree a few years back. And I just have this little ghost from Dollar General a few years back again. So that's just going to go here by my toaster. And here's another mason jar sign also from Bed Bath & Beyond. I do have these cute signs from Dollar General. Only a dollar. Back when they would do more of the traditional colors. So those are going to be hanging here. And this is how everything turned out. As for my kitchen towels, I decided to hang this one up and this one, just a bunch of hocus pocus. It has the broom and it has a nice little shine. I'm also hanging up my oven mitt. This is actually from Dollar Tree. They keep getting better with their designs and I just use these for, you know, inexpensive decor. All right, let's tackle my coffee bar and snack area because that's what I was mostly excited about. So here I have all of my goodies out. I did get this cauldron with the witch. Looks like a cupcake. I got it recently from Etsy. And then these marshmallows are from, they're fake of course. They are from Amazon. I do have them linked in my storefront along with my other holiday season purchases and recommendations. I'll link it down below. 
For everything that I purchased this year, I do have my hauls. I'll link my playlist for just my decor hauls down below so you can see them if you want to see. I absolutely love these sea salt caramel hot cocoa packets from Target. They are so yummy. So I want to put them inside of this jar. So I'm just folding them nicely and stuffing them inside. I always have mini marshmallows on hand because of my son. So those are in this jar. In my fall coffee bar video, I shared the milk chocolate covered pretzels. I also tried the white fudge ones and they are super delicious. So I am restocking my canister. I also thought these were perfect because the, this one especially, it reminds me of like bone vertebrae, you know, like a skeleton vertebrae, if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to do kind of like layers, chocolate, then the white chocolate, etc. You guys know I love the chocolate covered pretzels so I was happy to see that Target put out some Halloween seasonal ones the marbled mummy and the hocus pocus. I decided to keep them in their packaging because they look so cute. I also have some Halloween sprinkles as well as some peeps. I got the jack-o-lanterns, frankenstein and the ghosts. I do have my cinnamon and pumpkin spice. Before doing the marshmallows I wanted to do my Halloween Oreos. These have orange filling, so they look very seasonal. So I'm putting these in here in the plastic canister because, you know, my son likes to get, you know, some snacks after school. And these, you know, are not going to break, of course. They're not glass. Okay, so I like them because they say they're to dunk and they have, you know, some spider webs. They have some jack-o'-lanterns, other designs on them, so they look really cute. Here it is. And now for my marshmallows, I do have my little canisters, Death by Candy. These are from uh, Dollar Tree, Pick Your Poison. They do have some different sayings this year if you are interested. These are inexpensive, so I'm just going to put the ghosts in here. Two packets fit perfectly, and of course you do have some space in the middle. I decided to put the jack-o'-lantern one in this one because the font is green and if I put the Frankenstein on that one, it won't be visible. Something else I wish stores would do more of, coffee, seasonal holiday signs. So I decided to just put this sign from Dollar Tree and keep my pumpkin pie and pumpkin spice signs up from my fall decorate with me video. I do have this orange and black pom pom garland from Dollar General in the past years. So I'm just wrapping this across and moving the pom poms so it could still look nice. I left my pumpkin spice latte sign and trick or treat yourself is also from Dollar General in the past. I bought my ghost mug this year, lots of ghost mugs because they are super cute. This one has the jack-o'-lantern. Everything has been washed off camera. I do have this one with the bat. In the middle, I decided to put my Hocus Pocus mug. I put a spell on you. This mug I got from Walmart, I believe last year or two years back. I did get this Boo Ghost mug from what is it tj maxx yeah it's ray done i also have this beautiful canister perfect that i got from ross this year it was 5.99 so i'm always looking out for cute canisters and other halloween kitchen items like i said i felt like i needed a sign up here stop by for a spell i thought this went good with the theme it's from dollar tree last year 
I am using a tear tray and this little riser from Target. I did get these cute to-go cups from TJ Maxx for just $4.99. I felt they weren't too bright orange and they remind me of Johanna Parker. I do like to take one sleeve and put it on the bottom one so it can be displayed. These will be going here. I also like to display a cute mug on my Keurig, so I chose this one that I got at Target this year. It's the tallest mug they have out of all of them, and it's so cute that Mummy has the cutest pose. I'm putting my pretzel canister here and my jack-o'-lantern jar next to it. Now for my full marshmallow treats, I decided to put them inside of this candy corn ghost because, I don't know, I think it'll pop more. And it's all candy and sweets. So these have a little bit of everything. The black cat, they have eyeballs, some spiders, some jack-o'-lanterns. Honestly, they're really cute. There's even one with candy corn. Here's another purchase of this year, these bowls. I was so happy to see some Halloween bowls. I did keep the cardboard in between them just because it acts like a little riser, you know, between the bowls. That way you can see the three designs. These are ceramic and I did get them at TJ Maxx. My jar full of sugar. That's from Target. Now for my marshmallows, that's going on the side. I wanted a special place for this cauldron. It's from Etsy, by the way. I decided to put this riser underneath my to-go cups. It's from Hobby Lobby. That way, whatever I put at the front, you can still see the to-go cups. So I wasn't happy with this here. And it covers my marshmallows there. So I decided it looked best here. I do have my spoon rest that's from Dollar Tree this year. I do have my Halloween sprinkles. I also have my cinnamon and pumpkin spice shakers. You're going to see me moving these around because where I put them, I don't want them to cover whatever is behind them. So these shakers are going to go here. I like to keep these separate. I decided to put my sprinkles over here. Okay. I do want to put a pumpkin at least on my tear tray. But again, I don't want to cover that candy corn from that ghost. So I decided on this short pumpkin. I do want to hang up some towels. So these are from Target's Bullseye's Playground Dollar Spot this year. I took off the tag, but I didn't take off the hook because I want to hang them up on one of these hooks here. And I'm just going to open them, kind of like fan them out so you can see both of the towels. Perfect. I do have another one of these pom-pom garlands. So that's going across my little furniture piece here. I really like the packaging on these pretzel sticks, so I'm going to keep them. So that's going one on each side. In the middle, I decided to put a little riser with this mug. It's Jack Skeleton with Sally. So cute. And I feel like it goes with both of the colors. You see that? So now I'm just adding my canisters. Here are the Oreos. My ghost marshmallows and my jack-o'-lantern marshmallows at the bottom level i'm adding one of these risers from target's bullseye's playground this sign is from dollar general a couple of years back i have this sign from target's dollar spot to be honest i'm just putting whatever decor i have left over i will be hunting for more other items next year this beautiful velvet pumpkin is from Dollar General this year. It was just a dollar. And that's pretty much it for this 
space here now an overview I only put one marshmallow usually but for this video I put two. I hope you guys enjoyed this decorate with me. If you did please press that like button. I hope you guys got inspiration if you needed it. You guys know how much I love you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in another video. Goodbye.